let's chat. Let's have a little, little talk. You and me and this beautiful existence of life and death and, and rebirth. We are going to talk about something important today. I like to talk. Sometimes it takes a while for my words to come out. <laughs> I take pauses when I talk. And I think it's because my mind, my, my mouth can't keep up with what's happening inside. It's too much. It's too chaotic <laughs> in an organized way. It's like organized chaos. And I think a lot of people live like this. Uh, organized chaos. It kind of feels like the universe is an organized, is organized chaos. Because it feels like we meet people randomly or we do random things. But is it really random? Because if one little detail never happened, we wouldn't be on the same path. Yeah, life would be so different just by small little choices that we do. It's strange. Do we really make decisions or are the decisions already made? I think we do make decisions. I mean, how can we not have any self-control or self, self-choosing? or There's another word for it. I know it is. Oh my God, why can't I remember it now? Free will. Thank you. Free will. <laughs> yeah, so what's up with free will? I'm here again, we're talking about free will. This subject has come up a few times in my vlogs, or in my videos that I'm doing when I'm just talking about shit like this one. Welcome. So this video is about free will. I just realized the subject of this video. Hallelujah. Now I just need to know a title. The thing about free will, dot, dot, dot. Does it really exist? Because some decisions we make feel so random and it feels so significant. Like it doesn't feel insignificant. <laughs> it doesn't feel significant. It feels like just a random choosing that you choose, right? Maybe by two, two different dishes. You're going to an Indian restaurant and you're gonna eat some Indian food. And you have two different choices to choose between. The choice that, like, that you make will result in you getting a deli belly or not, <laughs> you know? So, if you chose the other meal, maybe you wouldn't get sick if you get sick and vice versa, right? How, because there's a lot of, that's a lot of pressure <laughs> for a human being to be able to, to choose between paths like that. And there's also different, other different paths, but maybe we needed to learn. Maybe our body needed to get sick so we could get a better immune system and not get sick in the future. So maybe we needed to choose that, that, that meal because w our body wants it, but so was it a decision by the mind or was it a decision by the body? That's the thing with free will. Where is the decision coming from? Or are we, uh, are we making decision from our body or from our mind? I mean, the, the mind is a part of the body. Maybe the body communicates with the mind. Of course it does. If I feel that I'm hungry, my body will tell my mind, A, hey, mind, bring me food, please. And I think it, it starts even before we feel hungry, when I feel like, I feel like I want something, I have a munch for something, I feel, yeah, maybe I want carrots. <laughs> That's my body way of saying, A, you, you need some, some vitamins in your body, you need to eat some carrots. And that's why we feel that we want carrots. We think that we want carrots. Or we think that it's our mind wanting carrots, but it's actually our body wanting the things that it's in the carrots, the minerals and the nutritions in the carrot. So I think our body is the decision maker. That's interesting, actually. So we do have free will, but it's not our mind making the decisions. It's our body. Which means that if we have gone through trauma, which a lot of people have done in the world, a lot of people, including myself, and when we go through trauma, our body will react in a certain way, right? So if the body thinks that something is dangerous, it will avoid that dangerous thing or situation. And the body keeps score, <laughs> it keeps score. It, it keeps everything remember like it, it remembers everything the body remembers everything maybe even it, it past lives so maybe the body our nerve system our 
body, <laughs> whatever, or bodies, or body is so, it's such a big term, right? Because it's, is it the soul too? Is, is the soul connected to the body? Or is it all, like, they're not separated, I think, it's the vessel of the soul, so it should be connected and a part of it, like everything else is a part of everything else. Everything is one, and so the soul should also be a part of our body. Or is the soul even bigger than that? Is the soul a part of the whole, the whole solar system and the whole galaxy and all of the stars and the Big Bang? Maybe it's the soul is Big Bang. Maybe, maybe. It's nice to talk. Nice to have a little conversation. I see nine to six and six to nine everywhere, everywhere where I go. That's the numbers of my life right now. I bought a colorful water bottle, so I can refill water and not buy plastic bottles, which is good, and it's colorful, and uh, all of the seven colors of the rainbow. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's only six colors here. There's one color missing, and I don't know which one it is. Indigo. But that's, isn't that blue, kinda? Blue and purple, I don't know. I pimped it with some stickers. It's a sticker that glows in the dark. A glowing in the dark sticker. I have a pineapple there. Ananas. I have coffee. The coffee thing is on, I should turn it off. Where were we talking about? Free will. <laughs> so yeah, the free, our, our, our decisions are based out of the reactions of our body and our memories, both in this life and in past lives, I believe. I think that's, that sounds pretty logical and not. So yeah, I do believe in free will. But do I really? I mean, because I met a lot of people in my life that I know I, I needed to meet. But was it because my body needed to learn those lessons or was it my soul needing to learn those lessons? So I think big things in our life, like meeting certain people or going through like uh, loss, like death, or, uh, or uh, when someone gets married, or when someone has a child, all of those things, like the big things, and getting fired from a job, the big things in life is predestined to happen. But the small little details and the small little things that happens in between those big events, we, have, we can influence. Our body is in control, but we are a part of our body, you know? It's a part of our ego. And our soul, apparently, I don't know, what the fuck, how, 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 how can I know? But, yeah, that's cool. So I think I'm done with the video. Free will exist because the body makes the decisions. But we think, or we might think that it doesn't exist because our conscious mind doesn't understand the unconscious choice that the body made. End of discussion. <laughs> I, won't, I wish I had like a mic that I could like drop, mic drop. I feel dumb. Have a good day. And I don't know why. I don't know what this is. I don't know. I don't know, but it doesn't matter because what the fuck do we know? Seriously. We have no idea about anything. But we know like a tiny, tiny, pity, little pity, 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 pity. <laughs> we know a pity. Feeling pity. Yeah. Yeah, feeling pity. Or just let it go and grow. Keep going. Okay. Uh, hasta la vista, baby. <laughs>